Hi, this is Graphically Alex coming at you with all things fat related. If that's something that interests you, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. Today, I wanted to actually cover something a little different because I feel like a lot of times in the anti-FA space, we are accused of being only reaction channels. So that has actually been thrown at me before and it's not actually true. So I want to go ahead and talk about a lot of the health benefits that I've gotten from losing weight. I've lost a significant amount of weight. I've kept it off for a significant amount of time. But I would say overall at this point, as of today, I've lost 70 pounds since July of 2022. So a lot of times fat activists will say that there are no health benefits to losing weight or there's no effect on your health if you lose weight. I want to go ahead and try to bust that narrative by describing the health benefits that I've felt from losing 70 pounds. So let's get into it. It's quite a long list. I'm going to go ahead and explain my list as we go through. They're all kind of random as well. So, you know, there's some mental, there's some physical, there's some of all this other stuff, but we're going to get into it. Okay. So if that interests you, stick around. So the first benefit of weight loss has been reduced instances of shortness of breath. So one of the most scary side effects that my obesity has caused has been shortness of breath. And this happens, or it had happened quite often. It's becoming less and less often. It used to happen every single day. Now it's becoming more like once a week or once every two weeks. You know, it's very getting much, much more rare. Um, the second thing that I want to list is no more cough. So I used to have a cough that I had all the time. And I remember back in 2021, I had breathing issues and I struggled with just labored breathing, just in general, just doing nothing. I remember I couldn't even like cook and stand at the same time because I had breathing issues and just overall exhaustion. And that's not the case at all anymore. Um, I have no more heart palpitations. So I used to get heart palpitations when I would stand up. Um, a lot of times when I'd get up to go pee at night, I'd go to pee and my heart would just start racing after getting up. That was rel like very, very, very common. It was also one of the most scary effects I had in terms of my obesity. And I can say that is gone. That almost never happens now. Almost never. So that's crazy. It took me a bit to actually think about it because I feel like a lot of times when we're losing weight, a lot of us tend to think about what we're giving up or what we're losing or whatever. Not necessarily me. I'm just saying I think in general and when we talk about losing weight, that's why I want to just talk about this because it also does help me appreciate how far I've come because I don't think about it that much. And I should. Okay. So the next one is more mental. It's a natural shift in concerns. So this is having the privilege to worry about appearances, finances, or boredom. So one of the major struggles that I've had from losing weight is that I think about how bored I am a lot. Or I think about my money situation not being good. Or I think about... I don't feel like I look good today. You know, I think about these kinds of things and it was something that it just from August until now, you know, and especially October, it just kind of changed and the conversations that I had with friends changed. The conversations I had with myself changed where it wasn't about these deep health issues that I had. It wasn't just about my hypothyroidism or just about the fact that I was so sick or the fact that I was struggling. It, it was physically, it became about other struggles and other things. And I don't really know, you know, that's one of those kind of death by a thousand cuts things where it just changes slowly over time. 
but now I hardly ever think about my health. And that's a huge, huge benefit. Um, so peace of mind regarding the issue, knowing it will be resolved. So that's a huge thing too. I think a lot of times when you're overweight and you're constantly gaining weight or you're constantly big and you don't know how or why or how to figure out how to lose it, you feel very hopeless and scared that you could get bigger and bigger and bigger out of your control. It can make you feel like you're really out of control. So that is definitely a mental benefit to weight loss. I feel very in control and very hopeful. And I don't think about like, if this will ever be figured out, it's, it's figured out. Um, more stamina when, when working and walking. So I walk a lot for my job and it's a lot easier. I noticed this change starting to happen in August as well, where I had kind of reached a certain level of weight loss where it was easier to walk around and stuff, uh, especially with being out of, you know, having less shortness of breath and those types of issues. It's really become so much easier to just walk and move and do things. I clean a lot now because just moving around and doing things is so much easier. That's just the honest truth. Um, reduction in foot pain and knee pain when walking for extended periods of time. So I, when I'm walking for my work, I can walk, you know, anywhere from I'd say at least, definitely with some breaks, but anywhere between three and five hours of pure walking in a day, like over, you know, five days a week or something. So that's a lot of hours of walking, and I used to get really, really, really terrible knee pain, horrible knee pain. Oh my gosh, like in, when I first started doing this job in the beginning of 2022, my knees hurt so bad, it like literally felt like it was killing me. And for a long time, like my foot pain would be so bad from walking. And I wouldn't say that it's gone. A lot of the things on this list, they're not gone, they're just reduced. So this is definitely reduced. Um, less unhinged behavior, more impulse control and improved mood stability. So this is another huge mental health benefit. Um, I am a lot more socially aware of how I'm being perceived and about how I am acting and how other people will take how I'm acting. And although part of the journey, this feeling felt kind of oppressive, it felt like, oh gosh, I don't want to do anything because I'm scared somebody won't like me. It has balanced out now and I just like being more in control of like how I'm perceived because I don't have this crazy unhinged behavior that we see like in a lot of um, a lot of fat activists. You know, I had that same streak where it's like you just you don't have inhibitions and stuff. It's really weird. That's gone away, and that's amazing. <laughs> that really helps. Um, so the next one is a reduction in diarrhea. So when I was a lot bigger, I had really terrible diarrhea pretty much every day for years. Um, and now I still get it, but it's definitely much, much less often. Like I will sometimes go a couple weeks without anything. And for somebody that used to have it every day, that's huge. So I'm very happy about that that was really annoying. Reduction in depression. So this is huge too. Um, there were a lot of times where I would be very, very depressed all the time. Sometimes I wouldn't even know why, or there would be basically no reason. And I think it had to do with my health because I am much less depressed now. Um, much, much less. Less angry. So I have a lot less anger issues as well. That kind of goes with that unhinged behavior. I don't go from zero to 100. Now it's like I go from zero to 20, 20 to 40. You know, it's like there's more of an escalation of anger rather than just going from zero to like just berserk in a second. That's really big. 
So that really helps with like relationships in your life and stuff. Um, less insecurity when talking to guys. So this is especially big in terms of like talking to guys that I'm romantically attracted to or sexually attracted to. For much of my life being obese, I could not talk to a guy without freaking out or having like a panic attack while I was talking to him. And I never have that anymore. I'm very calm, even talking or chatting with a guy that I'm super attracted to. I can be completely normal. And that is a huge superpower that, quite frankly, I never thought I would figure out. And yeah, I definitely think my hypothyroidism and my weight had to do with it. Um, resolve blood, blood pressure. So my blood pressure was high in 2021. Um, I'm, I monitored it throughout 2022 and it finally resolved. It didn't take that long to resolve. Usually blood pressure goes down relatively quickly if you get your stuff together. It can be brought down. And um, I would say it's resolved. I don't have high blood pressure anymore at all. So that's huge. That's important. Um, so I almost never wake up due to sleep apnea anymore. So I used to struggle with pretty bad sleep apnea and I'd have to be really careful about my position when I sleep. Otherwise I would wake up because I couldn't breathe. And I don't really have that anymore. I, it hasn't happened in such a long time that I I don't even know anymore, you know, if I have it. It's like on that level. So that's huge. Um, I have an easier time fitting in my car, so it's really nice to be able to drive easier. Um, in 2021, when I drove, I had to put the seat really, really far back because my belly was too big and I couldn't breathe very well in my car, which is really horrible. So that's not an issue ever anymore. Huge. Um, reduction in hypoventilation symptoms or episodes. So when it comes to that, I told you guys a long time ago that I struggled with obesity-related hypoventilation. So it actually occurs on a couple different levels. There's the physical obstruction in terms of your belly. There's a weakness in your muscles in your lungs due to hypothyroidism and then there's certain hormonal and you know chemical issues in the body that also lead to less you know more issues with breathing and with breath and like breath hunger and stuff like that so I struggled a lot with obesity related hypoventilation my symptoms are so greatly reduced it's actually kind of rare when I have an episode, which is just where I feel like I'm sitting down and I feel like I can't breathe that well. It, it hardly ever happens now. So I would say that's almost completely in remission. It's very, very, very minute compared to what it was. It used to be a very, very horrible thing that I just had to deal with all the time. Um... So I have markedly less hypothyroid symptoms compared to the last three winters. So as you guys know, we're in the dead of winter. Winter can be a really tricky time for people with hypothyroidism. My symptoms are so much better this year. Miles and miles and miles better. It's still tough, but I'm literally able to be in a deficit and do all my stuff and continue to lose weight even though it's winter, which is huge. I haven't been able to do that in a lot of years and my symptoms are nowhere near as intense as they've been. So definitely it was a huge difference after losing a significant amount of weight last year. It was very significant. Like this, this year it's so much better. Um, okay. A huge reduction in panic attacks compared to the start of my journey. So if I think of 2021, I used to have panic attacks daily. Um, 2020 was also like that for me. That's very, very difficult to live in and to live that way. And it was panic attacks due to my hypothyroidism being so severe. 
and I hardly ever have a panic attack now, or it's it's very, very rare. I think I last year, I think I had like two or three, you know, so it's like I can count them on one hand rather than it being a daily occurrence, which was really horrible in 2021. Um, so that's a huge increase in my quality of life for sure. <laughs> I feel like I haven't told you guys like all the issues I've had with obesity. So I think this video is good for that too. But yeah, that's definitely, I hardly ever have a panic attack now. It's so rare. Um, reduction in migraine frequency. So I had migraines a lot towards the beginning of my journey around 2021, 2022, that time frame. Um, I used to get a lot of migraines and I don't, this year I really have not had hardly any at all and they have been getting less and less, weaker and weaker throughout the months and so that's a huge benefit because migraines are really horrible. So they're becoming more and more rare. Um, the next one is less cravings for sugary or highly palatable foods. So this is really, really big because it helps a lot with adherence. You know, when you're not needing to rely on sugar so much, it becomes easier to stay in a caloric deficit because your calories are more nutrient dense. A lot of times throughout my hypo journey and, and throughout most of my life, to be honest, I've needed sugar to have energy and to be able to function. And I no longer am like that. So I think this is a huge aspect to weight loss that a lot of people don't talk about. But if you do it correctly, it's actually easier to adhere to a diet or to adhere to a deficit over time, which is how you win this. Because a lot of times people don't, they don't realize that a lot of it is seasonal effects. You know, it gets harder in the fall and winter. They bloat or put on weight and then they give up because they step off the diet and they gain a lot of water weight and then they quit they they lose you know they become demoralized that happens a lot to people but if you stick with it long enough and the seasons start to get warmer it actually becomes easier and then like in my case this winter is easier than last winter which was easier than the winter before that you see so over time it just gets easier and easier and I would say having reduced a lot of weight, it's a lot easier this year. So much easier than it was, which is amazing. So lastly, I just want to say too, I have more empathy now after losing weight. And I think that's because my body is not so much in a flight or fight response, which makes it a lot easier to actually think about other people's perspectives and put myself in their shoes because a lot of times when your anxiety is through the roof, when your body is in a crisis situation and you feel like you're dying all the time, you can't think about how other people feel that much or as much because it's like you're trying to talk to everybody and you have like this really, really loud music in your ears all the time. That's kind of what it's like. So you don't notice things about other people in your life and then People begin to see you as very selfish or self-absorbed. And I don't have that issue at all anymore, which is really big. And I'd also give too, like, I don't have this incentive for crisis in my life to have energy because my energy is more stable, being a lesser weight and being less hypothyroid. So it sets me up to not self-sabotage as much and to not fight with people in my life as much and to not prolong issues or, you know, not have a reverse incentive to resolving issues because I don't need it drama for energy, which I think is really big too. So all those things combined, those are all the health benefits, mental health, physical health, adherence, to dieting, you know, adherence to caloric deficit health, all those things have occurred over the 70 pound weight loss. And I just thought that it would, it was important to actually share what is some of the good of the weight loss. Cause I do spend a lot of times on this channel talking about the negatives and talking about 
what can happen just because I think a lot of times it's over glorified. But I also think we need to have a realistic view of weight loss and understand that there are many benefits to weight loss. And these are some of the ones that I've experienced. You would probably experience some as well. You may experience different ones. I think, you know, the more people that can share their experience, the better. I think it's a really positive thing. I think it's very healthy to get towards a healthier weight. And, you know, I hope to no longer be super morbidly obese this year, pretty soon within this year. And if that interests you, please subscribe. And if you guys are already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting me during this time. And I hope to show you guys more results this year. And we'll definitely have to do an update or a part two to this in the future. Thank you guys so much. I hope this was enlightening. Let me know your comments down below. And I will talk to you guys later. And don't ever believe an FA when they say it doesn't affect your health. It absolutely does. Goodbye, guys.